Welcome. Today we're celebrating the ACT community and raising funds for the next full year of programs. ACT's mission is to empower individuals with disabilities to learn, grow, and celebrate through the arts. At ACT, we center our work around creating belonging, and in this past year of challenges for many, we felt it was the perfect time to focus on what it really means to belong. To donate during or after our virtual event, visit artistscreatingtogether.org slash create dash belonging. Today we're going to travel through five stories of impact from people who are creating belonging with ACT. The full video will continue to be available for you on YouTube, so if you don't have time for the full video now, you can come back to it and finish watching at any time. The first stories you, you'll hear today will come from myself and teaching artist John Nowak. So John was a teaching artist within our Early Childhood Special Education program. We call it Early Childhood Arts Explorations, and that was a new placement for him through ACT. And the Early Childhood programs are really near and dear to my heart because before I worked for ACT, my son was in the Early Childhood classes. So he had the opportunity to explore through drumming, creative movement, and singing along, and that musical piece is what John brought to that group. Uh, when I went in there for music each week, <clears throat> we would all start by saying or singing hello to each other and everybody, every student has their moment to wave or to say hello or to make eye contact. And then we would be singing songs and ev everybody would have the chance to either sing or move their bodies or use instruments mm -hmm. to create this group and this shared experience between everybody, which is which is what is so powerful about music, that naturally creates a sense of belonging. It's special when there's that weekly opportunity for them to look forward to, and for myself to look forward to as well, to, to be in a group together and to be experiencing that music all at the same time. I think that's one of the most natural and probably one of the, the first ways that humans all connected to each other to create a sense of belonging. So what's impressed you most about the ACT students in the program? Um, for this year in particular, I've been so impressed with the resilience and, and the attitude from our students. I'm so impressed with their ability to stay in the present moment. Mm -hmm. And it's been so hard for so many students, whether it was virtual learning or the, the, the changing of schedules and routines, but almost every student that I've talked to or the participants in Artists Creating Together this year have, have, have a steadfast love for engaging with each other. And time and time again, the most important thing is us being together and having that space for, uh, for socialization and for learning and growing. And I think, um, Hardly anybody was has let the last year any any difficult circumstances get in the way of that growth for them. So I've been super impressed with their flexibility. Even though we weren't meeting in person for a good chunk of the year, the there was no lack of enthusiasm, and that that constantly impresses me and it motivates me as a teacher. Some of my favorite feedback from teachers is just overhearing things that they say while I'm there. There was one um, student in South Godwin who, who gave me a wave and a smile. And even that was a goal for him, for socializing and communicating. And so anytime I can hear that feedback, even though it's not direct to me, I, that's, a, that's a cue for me that we're doing something right here and that our time and our effort and our passions are, are worth this, um, this labor of love. Um, that was one moment where I was like, yes, like... That's a breakthrough. Like we're, That's we're, a breakthrough. we're getting yeah. some stuff done, for sure. So your presence in the classroom was positive for him, and he felt like you belonged as a part of their group. I love it. Well, thank you, Jen. And next, we're headed downstairs uh, to chat with ex student Jaina Mojica. I'm Jaina Mojica, 
and I've been with ACT for as long as I can remember. I think throughout middle school, I started out with a pottery class and doing ceramics. Um, the second, I've been doing acting. I've been through the intensives program, through the apprenticeship, um, selling my artwork and getting um, paid for my artwork and doing business cards for the past few years. And I just finished um, the intensives class with Steven. He was one of the ACT teachers here. And um, we recently also did another video for ACT for the intensives group. And I just really find ACT a lot of fun, and I'm just really grateful that they do a lot of good things for people who are differently abled and how we can express each other through art. And I'm Lisa Mojica. I'm Jaina's mom. I'm very proud of this girl. And um, she's, she's had a great time with ACT, and I'm very thankful for the opportunities both she and my son have had. Highlights would have to be when I was in the apprentice program for the first um, year that I started, first few years anyway. Um, I really enjoyed how I could just create like what I wanted to create, you know, like through drawing, painting, ceramics, anything. I just felt like I could be a little more creative and kind of have a little more of a freestyle kind of thing. Rather than just learning like a certain topic, I like to learn different topics and use different mediums through art. And I just really enjoyed um, going to the festival through ACT and helping out with the young adults and the children there. And it was really fun to experience that and just seeing all the joy on their faces. And also another one of my favorite ACT classes was, was the stop animation. And um, just it was just really cool to see a different type of animation. I just thought it was really cool. And I really have a love for sign language because... I have a few friends throughout high school who are deaf. I have two cousins who are hard of hearing. They don't use sign language, but I think part of that was the inspiration for that. Um, my mom also has a coworker who's hard of hearing, but that doesn't let her. That doesn't stop her from what she does. She keeps on going, just like we all can. ACT has opened up a lot of opportunities for people of all ages, and I just felt that they've always like wanted to reach out to us and to any community and any part of the Grand Rapids community. And I'm just really, really grateful that they're able to do all these fun classes and that we can expound on our art, um, our art skills and anything that anyone else likes to do. That's really created a sense of belonging for you and for, for others. Um, there's a real sense of community here. And when uh, kids get a chance to work together, no matter what um, you've been doing, I just noticed that there's a good camaraderie and uh, an opportunity for, for everybody to learn something. But um, you also learn from watching others in the group. And um, it's a great place yeah. to plug in. When we were nominating students to be included in the Create Belonging video, more than one staff person enthusiastically recommended Jaina. And it's because she lights up any room that she's in and she encourages students along the way. For our next segment, our Advancement Director Emily Evers got together with a few members via Zoom last week. I'm so excited for you to get a glimpse into that conversation. Remember, today our goal is to raise funds for all of ACT's programs, including those taking place at ACT and out in the community. So please visit the link at the bottom of the screen to show your support for ACT. Rhonda and Darius, thanks so much for joining us today for Create Belonging. Uh, Rhonda, you've been a board member at ACT for a couple of years now and have been involved for much longer. And Darius, I believe you've been teaching for ACT for about as long as Rhonda's uh, been on the board. So uh, we love having both of you involved and uh, you two were lucky enough to get to know each other in a unique way in our Stepping 101 class back in fall 2019. My name is Darius Colquitt. I am a teacher of almost our any and every artistic form. Um, uh, but um, I came to know the people over at ACT about a year and a half ago. It's been a wild journey and it has been so much fun. And just being a part of the ACT family has been a joy for me. I'm Rhonda Lovers. 
Um, and I have been an ACT board member for about a year and a half. I had the pleasure of taking this class with Darius uh, right at the beginning, which was super fun with my sister, Benita. I mean, it was so clear to me that, um, that many of the students had attended lots of classes before and they had like this super tight friend group, but they were so welcoming to people who hadn't been there before. With my Stepping 101 class, oh my gosh, there was so much enthusiasm and joy and it was outstanding. It really was. Um, and I think the way that it culminated at the end with the um, celebration that we were all a part of where our students got to perform, it was dynamic. I'm just overjoyed that we got to have that experience together. All right, so I'm excited that Benita, uh, Rhonda's sister, who we mentioned was in Darius's class, is able to join us uh, for a few moments and tell us a little bit about her experience. Hi, I'm Benita Lubbers, and I'm at ACT, one of the students of ACT, and I'm in a dance class. Benita, where do you feel like most like you can be yourself? Be yourself and enjoy dancing. When you enjoy dancing, that's when you feel like you're the most yeah. yourself? Yeah. Right. And what was your favorite part about the stepping class with Darius? Yeah, he's a pretty awesome guy. Oh. He is a pretty awesome guy. What did you like about the class? It's just an awesome, awesome class. ACT uh, provides this great gathering um, place for people. And when the pandemic hit, I just knew it was going to be really, really hard for people not to have that outlet anymore. Um, but ACT just stepped right up. Knowing that ACT was ready to adapt, ACT was ready to change and go with the flow of whatever was coming. Seeing that energy from ACT itself and, and, and watching us still come together and still be family, no matter what you know, barriers keep us bound, it, it, it in itself, I think, has been an inspiration, not just to all of the students that attend classes, but to me as well. Um, I, there are a lot of possibilities for things that I would not have jumped out on so early if it hadn't been for the inspiration of seeing ACT be the first to do things while other people were wondering what's next. When somebody recognizes what you're good at and gives you an opportunity to show what you're, what you're good at, like ACT does, I mean, that feels good, right? And that makes us all feel good about ourselves, but it also makes us feel good about a place and uh, the people around us. It can be difficult no matter who you are or where you come from, to find a place where you quote unquote fit in. When it comes to creating belonging, it's already sort of difficult to find that. And then when you split that down into being a part of whatever subsection you're a part of, uh, male, female, gay, straight, um, black, white, and you know, all of these different factions that we find ourselves in, belonging can be difficult for so many people on so many different levels. So what I appreciate about ACT is that it's all about the individual first and making sure that your comfortability level exists. If you're not comfortable, then you can't feel that you belong. And that is something that I've always appreciated about being a part of the ACT family. It's that no matter who you are, no matter where you come from, if you wanna be a part of this experience, welcome. You're here. Um, what it boils down to is that love factor. You can love what you do, but how much do you love the people that you're involved with? And I can see that that exists and that means more to the formation of ACT than a lot of other groups, you know, that do exist. So I'm very proud to be a part of this family and a part of a place that makes sure that belonging is at the forefront of everything that they do. When it comes to fostering belonging, ACT is proud of the many opportunities we offer in the community for individuals with disabilities. One of our newest endeavors is the addition of our Creative Leaders Committee. This committee consists of current ACT participants who have the opportunity to advise staff on programming, outreach, 
gain experience behind the scenes of a nonprofit organization, and grow as leaders, advocates, and artists. Since the committee was launched earlier this year, they have visited our board-led strategic planning session, contributed to our social media, engaged in speaking opportunities, and they are just getting started. We are immensely thankful for the vision of our Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Committee, and to the Michigan Council for Arts and Cultural Affairs, to Herman Miller Cares, and to the many donors and supporters who make programming like this and everything we do possible. Donations from individuals, business, and other community partners are what make everything we do a reality. We typically look forward this time of year to gathering in person with community members to celebrate ACT while raising funds. And while things may look a bit different this year in terms of fundraising, we are thrilled to share that many of our programs and students are running full speed ahead in creating, connecting, and inspiring others through the arts. This is why your support today is immensely valuable and we hope all of you watching will make a donation. Whether it be $5, $50, $500, or even more, we want ACT to be a community investment and resource for anyone who would like to be involved. Next up, I'm honored to introduce two members of our CLC and the staff liaison to the committee, Caitlin Kwa. They got together last week via Zoom to talk more about their experiences. Hi everybody, I'm Caitlin Kwa. I'm ACT's Creative Cube Coordinator and I am also the staff liaison to the Creative Leaders Committee. With me, I have two awesome members of the Creative Leaders Committee. Hi, I'm Rod Seal and and I'm, I'm a, it's my first year from the Creating Leader Committee and, and I'm currently attending um, Community Transitions Campus. Hi, my name is Narissa and this is my first year of virtual ACT and I am in the, the CLC. Great, thank you both. You're welcome. Um, so let's dive into some questions. So our first question is, where do you see yourself in five years? Becoming a, a artist. What type Art of artist? Like graphic or painting. Awesome. I like that goal. <laughs> what about you, Rocio? I see myself um, working with children in a child care setting and like, and I see myself as a artist and and as a photographer. Where do you feel like you can most be yourself? Around friends, that around friends at yeah, the workplace setting. Nice, thank you, Narissa. You're welcome. What about you, Rocio? Where do you feel like you can most be yourself? Like seeing my most of myself is like like teaching like art for like all ages for like like kids at the age of seven and teenagers that way like that keep themselves busy like uh, after school activity like they don't be hanging out in the street with the wrong people mm. okay so helping others through art yeah i love it great how do clc meetings make you feel when you're taking part in them I feel like I'm like I'm becoming more independent and I'm getting to like a higher level, like like becoming an artist and like start creating new things. Just being able to like just like be a part of a new fam a new family that are nice and warm welcoming. Thank you both so much for being part of this interview. You're really welcome. appreciate it. You wanna say goodbye with me to everybody? Mm-hmm. Ready? Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. In addition to Rocio and Narissa, the entire Creative Leaders Committee is a real point of pride for artists creating together. Their input as to our programming and the types of arts that we utilize and how we administer visual and art programming will change how we do things in the future. So, so we're so thankful for them. 
Today is the day to create belonging together and we need your support. Your donations will enable us to provide accessible and inclusive programming in area schools, special education classrooms, hospitals, in our studio, but also out in the community as a whole. Through the past year, lots of our programs continued on virtually or in small, unique fashions. And we have a really great lineup of programs planned for the next year. You can donate right now at the link listed on the screen, even if you're watching this after the premiere. Thank you so much for all of the time that you've shared with us today. And last but certainly not least, our next and final story is from teacher Ian Troop and his students from the Rockford Transition Program. Hi, my name is Ian Troop. I work at Rockford Public Schools in our RITS program, which is a regional uh, transition program for young adults who have special needs. I have a few of my friends my students here, and they'd like to introduce themselves to you, and then we'll tell you a little bit more about what we've been doing this year. My name is Justice. My name is Maria. I'm Sandra. My, my name is Jan. I am one day. And so while we were creating our residency this year, our idea was to create uh, an art program where students could learn about music, um, but also really be able to have the opportunity to dance and move and be able to express themselves um, with the idea that uh, music is something they love. This is something that they can uh, take with them outside of school. So we got to work with a new ACT artist, Steve, this year, Steve Lee, and he has just been a wonderful asset and uh, a wonderful artist to be able to work with this year to get to know and work together to um, explore music, right? But what do you <laughs> love when you create art? Uh, I like drawing pictures for people. Okay, so you like making art for other people. Awesome, I love it. Justice, how about you? <laughs> I like to make cars and color them and make me feel good inside. Yeah, alright, so art makes you feel good inside. What has been your favorite thing about coming here and having our art class with Steve this year. Some of the times we had to be at school, and that's okay too, but what has been your favorite thing? Thanks, Maria. Steve making me laugh. Steve making me laugh. Okay. <laughs> Renee, how about you? Um, the part is that they, uh, are showing to our students. Showing your music to the other students? Yeah. I love it. So sharing your art and what you made with others. One of the neat things too for um, our program is uh, just the opportunity for the uniqueness of a classroom like mine, uh, where they are, our students are all young adults, so they've graduated from high school. More than just an art class, it's, a, it's learning to be an adult. It's getting downtown Grand Rapids and seeing the places that we live, right? Exploring our community. Being able to do that well. Also, just being able to have fun with music. It has been just a wonderful opportunity and experience for these five individuals, as well as the other seven students that you guys didn't get to meet. But it has been a great opportunity for us to be able to participate again this year with ACT. Um, as we create belonging, we hope that you've heard all the ways that you too belong at ACT. We want you all to be a part of our community. So in addition to donating at the link below, artistcreatingtogether.org slash create dash belonging, you can support us as a volunteer, be a connector to local artists and new potential participants, or simply just spread the word about all the programming that we have going on each year. We're really hopeful and excited that the rest of 2021 will bring more community events. So be sure to keep an eye out for our mobile art studio, The Creative Cube on the Road. We hope to see you all soon, and be sure to follow us at ACTWM to see what we're up to this summer and beyond. Thank you. Thank you.